<laughs> Boom! Now pay attention. The only way you ever know if your ministry is correct is if your, your, your ministry has been effective. It's it when your right. motives align with God's motives. Thank y'all. <laughs> Listen to what I just said. What I just said is probably the realest thing I've ever told you since you've known me. Uh -huh. Listen, Jeremiah didn't grow. Right? Growth has nothing to do with the effectiveness. Growth is a variable that depends on people accepting. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Just because they don't accept don't mean you're not effective. Mm -hmm. okay. Effectiveness comes in when your motives align with his motives. Now, if I'm leading with something that doesn't align with his motives, forget his word. That's your problem. You love his word so much, you don't love him. Mm. <coughs> I'm not saying don't study his word. I'm saying you can love his word and don't look nothing like him. Mama, you just hit people with his word. <laughs> Jesus. Am I making sense? Lucifer does know the Bible. You, Lucifer completely knows the Bible. He knows the Bible. Yeah. Knowing the Bible. You know what? Thank you very much. Let me show you. Because people are disagreeing. Just because you know his word, don't mean you know his heart. Come on now. And so okay. the devil, Lucifer, has a, according to your beliefs, has a personal relationship with God. Come on, man. He knows him personally. He right? even offered him. He even knew, not only has a personal relationship with God, according to Job, then he had a personal relationship with Christ. Yeah. Right? That's, that's, what you, that's what they preach to you. Yeah. Know the Lord, confess with your mouth. It ain't good enough. You could know him. Lucifer knows him and would never get into your heaven. Yep. Make sense? That's absolutely correct. So not only does he have a personal relationship, but he know all the Bible. He yes. quoted it. He quoted oh, it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he'll never get in. Because his motives. You can know the word. You can know him. You can do all the right stuff, but if your motives are incorrect, you're getting fed. Yeah. Lord, I, I, I believe your Bible said, Lord, Lord. But I did. I never knew you. Hmm. Turn away from me. Because your motives were incorrect. You want to know if your, your ministry has been effective? Your motives have been aligned with your gods. I can't treat my wife incorrectly and treat my God correctly. I can't treat my friends correctly and then treat my God incorrectly. What he does, I have to do. Now let me help you. Let me help you. Watch this here. Let me help you just for a little bit. Think about all the stuff that makes you angry. Think about all the stuff that makes God angry. Whose list is long? So if your list is, and it is, don't even, don't front, don't do the whole bougie thing. Nobody got time for that. Your list is 1,500 times. Longer than it ain't even a real number. 1500 times longer than God. You get mad over the principal. She owes you money. You know how much money you owe, Lord? According to your beliefs. Yes. According to your beliefs. According to your beliefs, you have robbed your God many a time. Does he hold it against you? See this. According to your beliefs. Do you owe your God money? Yes. Has he killed me for it? Oh, no. Are you ready to kill him for it? Yeah. All right, your motives don't line up. Uh, according to your beliefs, <laughs> according to your beliefs, do you owe your God an apology? Yes. Did you apologize this morning? No. Yes. Should you be living? I did. I did. Okay. You apologize this morning. I did. Have I did. you apologized as much as you should? No. no. Has there been a time when you should have apologized and you didn't? Uh, uh, yeah. Do you uh, uh, wish that he treats you like you treat them? Because your motives are incorrect. You understand what I'm saying? The only way you're effective is when your motives 
The only way that you are effective is when your motives line up <coughs> to some higher standard that never changes. Don't, don't, don't miss this. I don't care. You got y'all religious. You believe. Here's what I'm saying. I don't care if you believe. Even if you don't believe, the mere fact that you say this is bad, you automatically say it's bad because I referred it or I compared it to something that is good. And this something that is good never changes. This something that is good cannot change. And the reason why I can say bad, bad, bad because there's different gradations between the good and the bad. And so I'm saying this don't look like that, so it's bad. And I'm afraid to tell you just about all your leadership don't look like that. Mm -hmm. It's bad. You don't get to run from this. You, 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 you keep judging yourself by some standard that's not the highest standard. Whatever that may be. Whatever that may be. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care what you believe in. There's a standard. If you won't say the word bad, you believe in some sort of standard. You can be atheist. I don't care. Bad can only exist if there's a good. You understand what I'm saying? Because you, you can't say this is bad without subconsciously understanding that there's some good I'm comparing this to. These are facts. This is philosophy. They've been doing this since Plato, Aristotle. They've been doing this. You don't get to change from this. You understand what I'm saying? You, you bad. Bad and booze. Forget you. I'm talking about what comes out of you when you leave. What comes out of you when you lead is ineffective. But you lie to yourself and you say you're effective. <clears throat> the world has too many ineffective leaders under the umbrella of effectiveness. Just because you can talk don't mean you're effective. Hmm. Just because you can raise money does not mean you're effective. No, In your religious world, just because you can preach or teach doesn't mean you're effective. Effectiveness comes from motives. Every time I forgive you, I forgive you because some standard would. Mm -hmm. So it ain't about me no more. Neither is about if I struggle or not. Because if I match the motives, I'm effective. So your challenge, whether you like it or not, <laughs> is to match your motives since you guys are religious, with his motives. Oh, yes. Take that That's bad your challenge. motives. That means. Ain't no bad challenge for me. But listen, every time you pray, yeah, he don't cut you off. Hmm. Every time you disrespect him, he don't disrespect you. Your motives have to line up with his. Now, in my case, because I reach people universally, your motives have to line up with it. Whatever objective truth there is, it does not change. If you think there's a bad, you're comparing it to something. And you have to com not stop comparing yourself to people you're better than. That's why you think you're effective. You're not effective. You're sorry. <laughs> you're not effective. You're not effective. You're ineffective because your standard is low. Mm. Listen, stop hurting people. I understand hurt people hurt people, but it's not just hurt people that hurt people. Ineffective people hurt people. Yes, sir. You don't have to grow or make money to be successful. Mm. Your ministry job, do what, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, it doesn't have to grow in order for you to win. Just has to have the right motives. Then you automatically win. You don't win because of the result. You win because of the way you showed up. Mm, come on, man. Let me pray.